One of Arizona's busiest border crossings is open again, this after a very active monsoon. The Nogales Deconcini port of entry was closed from about noon yesterday to about 10 p.m. last night. Take a look at this. Because of this blinding rainstorm brought on a flash flood that caused deep trouble on the U.S. and Mexican sides. Nine Your Sides' Craig Smith was in Nogales today as workers wrapped up the cleanup. Here at the Deconcini port of entry, they use a lot of modern technology, computers, x-ray screeners. But yesterday, one of the technologies they needed the most was a mop. Agents trained to keep out drugs and criminals ended up working to keep out flood water. It's about um, six, seven inches, in, in, and in some places, 18 inches of water coming towards you. And in front of it, it's carrying a lot of debris, a lot of trash, a lot of mud that is being pushed by the pressure of the water and it's coming towards you. And let's not mince words, there's sewage there, right? Well, you know, there's areas in which uh, the uh, sewage system didn't, didn't work. Things were even wilder in Mexico where the mix of water, mud and sewage swept away cars and left a huge mess to scrape up. The Concini port handles eight or 9,000 cars and nearly as many pedestrians on an average day. CBP closed the Deconcini port and diverted traffic to two other much drier ports of entry nearby. City workers on the Mexico and U.S. side rushed in with sandbags to dam up and divert the dirty water. Bruce Bracker chairs the Nogales Port Authority. He's pleased with how everyone pulled together when trouble poured in. This is one of those acts of God, and, and there you go. Hopefully this is going to be a nice, you know, wet monsoon season, which is what Arizona needs. And we can all use the water. And uh, we, it's just unfortunate that you had these microbursts that, you know, two inches within an hour in any part of town in any community would cause havoc. CBP says it's learned some lessons from what happened here. So they will be ready the next time the sky opens up and the water flows in. For one thing, they're going to have more boots, cleanup gear, and sandbags handy. In Nogales, Craig Smith, Kgun 9, on your side.